The kids grew up and now they're gone as the clock keeps ticking on through all the joy and tears. Now it's the golden years. So it's a really long time since I've done an episode of an angel and an alien and this of course isn't really the same series technically <laughs> but it is basically but yeah as you can see things are pretty much the same except Ruby has a new hairstyle and I think she's got the same clothes she might have a different different skirt from last time um, and it's Christmas Day or Winterfest as it's called in game and I've been building to this for a while the last episode before this was uh, episode 2 of um, Dr. Finn Medicine Alien and uh, if you were watching those you'll know it's winter in my world the first winter that I've had and uh, yeah Christmas Day was coming up for a while and uh, basically I left it and I kept delaying it and I um, kept distracting myself when I was going to do it but uh, I couldn't really play properly until I got through it and I didn't want to not record it um, so here it is <laughs> and as you can see there is a house party happening today uh, this has been planned by Ruby and she's cooking up some food especially for it so we've got already uh, a grand meal, a ham dinner over here and she also made uh, some meatballs I think the other day uh, but otherwise there isn't really much so she's got to hurry up and we just drop those walls down so they get out of the way I haven't had a new episode of an angel and an alien since I think it was July 2018 which is crazy if you think about it <laughs> but there you go it's a really long time and time has flown for us but not for Ruby and Brun so what else is she gonna make because I know people are gonna zoom through the food probably um, how about she makes some Monte Cristo sandwiches and the reason I can't make these ones is because I have a mod installed that uh, that prevents you from making something unless you've got the ingredients for it uh, I th I'm not sure who made them all but it's on mod the sims anyway let's do Monte Cristo party size and everyone's arriving in about 40 minutes what's Brun doing so Brun also has new clothing uh, more get famous stuff and he also has a new haircut which also came from get famous <laughs> but yeah otherwise not much has happened in the world I mean uh, Lyle moved out of his oh look we've got a guest already <laughs> look how it is you might not recognize her hairstyle but that is Lysa and let's uh, drop her out of her um, cold weather gear there we go into her normal gear actually probably party gear would be good I don't know if she's here just to visit or if she's actually here for the party because the party actually officially hasn't started yet but it's still nice to see her um, let's give her a, a winter fest gift Ooh. Okay, so I haven't done this before, so I've got no idea what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I want to give these things away. But... <laughs> uh, let's give her some medicine, huh? <laughs> I don't know why. Just because that's something that... You, you know, you can give away without being... Uh, without it being too much of a problem. Sorry, I've got... Um, the volume went a bit loud in my ear. Uh, so that bit was a bit noisy. But I've turned it down now. So he's slowly satisfying his traditions. He hasn't got this one yet. Lighting the holiday tree. Ask if good or bad. Belly laugh. Does he do a belly laugh at her? Or does he just do it? Complain about winter first? No, we're not going to do that. Right. House party is about to begin. So let's start the house party. Some tips for more successful adventures 
event. Entertainers need a piano. Okay. But I don't have a piano. <laughs> Oops! Do I have an entertainer coming? I think I might do. Where could I stick a piano? Hmm. How about just there? I wonder if I can stick one there. Let's see. Okay, so there is a piano there now. And hopefully the entertainer who I think is Ruby's grandfather, Bruce, who's uh, still alive. He's ancient, but he's still alive. Um, I think he'll be able to use that. And uh, you just saw Rodney come in, and now he's disappeared. I've got no idea where he's gone. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, everyone's getting into their party gear, which is great. Oh, we have a baby. <laughs> so, hang on. I thought he gave birth the other day, but I guess not. Um, so, that's the name I gave him the other day. I think I must have... Um, that's right. What happened is I played ahead a bit too far. And uh, Ruby and Bran went to work. So, I'm kind of playing it again. And so, he's given birth again. <laughs> So yeah, see we see some of their party gear, and like I mentioned very briefly earlier, Lysa has a new hairstyle, she's still got a bit of colour in her hair like she did before. Um, I think that's a new dress that Ruby has on, did that come in with Get Famous? I think so. But yeah, they're having a little chat, and I think I saw some other people in here, yep, we have... Um, Wendy as well. I was very tempted to give Wendy a new hairstyle. Um, the short one that came along with Get Famous, but I tried it and it didn't really suit her, I felt. So, Brun, make some drinks. Um, make drink. Make drink four. Make drink four. Oh, look. Timothy looks freezing. <laughs> Where is he? I hope you're coming soon. Okay, everyone's kind of stuck outside. So it's quite worrying that we have a toddler running around outside, so I'm gonna get Ruby to come and pick him up. And I don't know why everyone else isn't in their wet weather, I mean, uh, cold weather gear. It's very strange. But I guess they're in their party gear and that's why. Everyone's freezing. I hope people don't like randomly die on the way to the party because <laughs> it seems to take so long to get inside. So Ruby needs to rush inside. She's taking ages to get through the snow. If we have random people dying, <laughs> I'd be very upset. <laughs> of course. Right, anyway, um, put Sawyer down here. Hopefully that will stop him from running inside. We shall see, right? Looks like Bruce is here and he's playing. Now, I did see... Uh, yeah, there he is. Um, Ruby's dad, Timothy. I almost forgot his name. It's been a few months. He's okay now, so he's no longer freezing. That's good. <laughs> Who else do we have here? We have George. That's Ruby's nephew. And this is Halka, who's Ruby's soon-to-be daughter-in-law. I imagine soon-to-be. Uh, you'll know from... Dr. Finn Medicine Alien. And yeah, I don't have my face cam today. Uh, I just thought it would be a lot easier if I didn't have it on. I didn't have to make myself look all uh, presentable. I could just kind of sit here and, you know, wearing whatever I'm wearing and, and do it. And I thought it was just important to get the episode done rather than uh, worrying about stuff like that. So it's good to see Timothy and Wendy spending some time together. Oh look. So Rose Doris Stanley delivered one male baby. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's a cat somewhere around town and uh, MC Command Center tells me about uh, pregnancy. Hey Bran. Oh, he's tending it. He's actually tending it. Okay, I think you can leave that now. Um, let's get them to go to the loo. Right, what's Ruby doing? What's wrong? 
He's sitting inside the chair. <laughs> That's weird. It's uh, obviously an animation is firing when it shouldn't. Oh, let's give him residence keys because he, he should have them, I reckon. But he's probably now abandoned his food, which is something I. Uh, oh no, he's got it. He's got it. I was going to say that's something I really don't like. But yeah, Finn should have a key to the home. Let's hug him lovingly. Let's give him a Winterfest gift. Oh, I've got to stop doing this because I don't actually want to give him this stuff. <laughs> but um, what should we give him? He's got a lot of stuff. Surely a sack lunch would be handy. Oh, there you go, a sack lunch for Christmas. Don't say that I don't give you stuff. Really love her in a new dress and a new hairstyle. And when as soon as I saw it, I thought that is definitely a ruby hairstyle because she had quite a lot of volume in her hair, and it, it kind of works. You know, it's it's definitely her hair, if you know what I mean. But yeah, let's just have a quick look um, in the Symology panel. So Ruby now actually has a good reputation and a one-star celebrity, and that's because I gave it to her, you know, with a cheat. <laughs> because I thought it was appropriate because she's very skilled and she, uh, you know, is very, she's at the top of her career and, you know, it's tempting to give her more than that, but I thought this was um, a nice touch to kind of acknowledge her um, and as you can see she's got 31 days until she's an elder so even though this is the golden years she's only got a bit of gray in her hair you know it's not quite golden year time but uh, it's getting there the kids have definitely moved up and uh, grown up you know moved up been grown up <laughs> and what's happening here is she taking a photo is she selfieing herself let's unpause it I think she might have been so yeah, that's uh, Marcella, who is the wife of Ruby's younger brother, whose name I almost forgot. Uh, it's Maxine, and <laughs> did in fact forget. And there's Rodney, of course. Um, and there's Rodney's daughter, Scylla, as a toddler. I don't know how long she has until she becomes a child, but probably quite soon. I don't know if everyone's turned up, because, I don't know, I was going to say because uh, Lysa's love interest, what's his name, Reese. I didn't see him, but he is there. So, so far everyone's turned up and there's um, Rodney's husband, Tyree. I wish the names were like down at the bottom of that little window that pops up. Because you often have to kind of look up to see the names. And who do we have here? We have Sawyer, I think. Yeah, Sawyer McLeod. That's Maxime and Marcella's son. And in my world, uh, you probably don't remember, but in my world, uh, there's like a one-child policy because I've got over 200 sims in my legacy world. They're all at least distantly related to each other. Maybe it was generations ago. Every now and then I bring in new sims to kind of keep the population you know, interesting because especially over generations, uh, the sims tend to kind of blend skin color and everyone becomes kind of like this kind of uh, light chocolate color with black hair usually um which is fine i have no problem with that but i like having a lot of different sims with different color hair and skin and you know different features i don't want their all their faces to look the same which would happen over many generations and has happened you know so i i keep bringing in new sims every now and then to marry into the the legacy world but uh, yeah, because there's so many sims around, I had to institute a one-child policy, <laughs> a bit like China. Uh, I occasionally break the rule, like for Ruby, for example, Ruby and Bran had three kids, and Ruby's brother Rodney has had two. Um, that's probably it in terms of rule breaking, but it's very possible that Ruby's kids might have more than one uh, kid themselves. Um, you probably remember, or well, you may not remember, <laughs> but Finn and his partner Halika, they haven't got any kids yet, they're the oldest, uh, he's the oldest child of Ruby and Brun, but it's very likely that they will have kids soon, and uh, I'm sure they will have at least one, 
and maybe more. And then, uh, where's Lyle? Lyle's around somewhere, but I know Lysa's right here. Lysa isn't uh, in a permanent relationship yet. I think her partner, Reese, or her love interest, Reese, might actually still be a teen. Let's have a look. Yes, he is. So we're kind of waiting for him to grow up, <laughs> which is a bit weird. And then somewhere around here, yeah, there we go. Sorry for zooming around, I hope you don't have motion sickness. But somewhere around here, in fact, right in front of the camera here, is Lyle. And Lyle has just recently moved out of Rodney's home, which is where he was living. Uh, you'll see from the last episode of A Vampire Vet. And uh, he has got his own home, home now. I was about to call it a home. I don't know why. <laughs> he has his own home now. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, his partner, he has like a love interest as well, but his love interest, uh, Ern, isn't around at the moment for what I can see. He hasn't turned up, so he could be outside, but uh, I don't think so. Apparently not. Maybe he's just not going to turn up. But yeah, the, the family home is a bit different slightly since the kids were here. I mean, Lyle's room is basically the same. I did a little speed build for this. Um, but Lysa's room is vaguely the same. Uh, she's missing her um, piano that she had up here, and I think there's a couple of other things. Because of course she has her own home now, but this place will probably be converted to some other room at some point. But this room, which was Finn's bedroom, is already converted to a pink and this is in preparation for something I've planned for a long time which is for Ruby's parents especially Wendy but since you know they're married <laughs> and all um, to come and join them so then you know we really will add to the golden years kind of theme Might it? I think so so yeah let's continue with the party how's the traditions going I've only got one more, which is Father Winter needs to appear at around 8 o'clock near fireplaces. Well, luckily we have a fireplace here, but is there something to do with the tree that we can do? I think there is. I think we can sing or something. I thought it already was lit. Okay, well let's light it. Um, let's light it with... Can she do it with multiple people? I don't know. Finn, Lyle, Nicer, that looks good. And Bran, and maybe Wendy, yep. That's probably more than enough. Let's, oh, I clicked the wrong one. I want you to click Rodney. My mouse is a bit too sensitive. Right. Let's see if they can go and light the tree together. Isn't it strange that Seasons came out months ago and there's still so much of it that I haven't explored? Well, that's because I haven't been playing. Um, an expansion pack for WoW came out and I was playing that. And it really distracted me for a while. I didn't just level up um, one character in WoW, I leveled up a few. And I still play it, like, every day. But yeah, I think they're waiting for everyone to turn up. Who are we missing? Wendy. That's cool. Bruce is entertaining them. That's just what I wanted. And this microphone stand came along with uh, Get Famous. And I wasn't sure that he was going to use it. Now, who is this? Rayella. Just gave birth to a baby. Rayella Lewis? Okay, I don't recognize her at all. Um, right, I'm going to have to go and check to see who she's married to. So, I've kind of gone with a slightly unimaginative name, which is Ray, but with an E. Because it's kind of similar to her mum. I mean, his mum. So let's go with that. Morella Lewis delivered one male baby. I don't recognise her at all. Strange. So they're not lighting the tree because I guess uh, Finn and Wendy are busy. I hope they'll be unbusy soon. Wait for um, Bruce to finish his little routine, I guess. It's good to see him still doing stuff. I think he might be a celebrity as well. I might have made him a celebrity, but I'm not sure. Yes, he is. He's a B-lister. Because yeah, he's quite advanced uh, in his musical skills. 
and entertainment skills. I don't know what he used to be. I think he was a politician. So yeah, he's he's quite famous. And then another person who I think is a is a celebrity is Wendy, I think. So can they light the tree now? I think so. I think everyone's there. Right? They're all taking their time. So we have like a stack of Christmas presents here. And this one is actually a stack of uh, the challenge. Um, oh, I forget what it's called. The challenge thingy? Kindness challenge or whatever it is. So they did light it. Is it lit? I guess so. It is kind of shining. Everyone's kind of uh, teleporting around the place. Should they do a little bit of singing? How about we do some singing? Sing together. I think this is the Christmas one. Um, who can we do it with? Let's do it with... Well, let's do it with the kids. Oops, that's not the kid. What's he doing there? <laughs> I didn't invite him. He's probably just walking around outside. So let's do Lysa Finn and... Where's Lyle? Ooh. <laughs> right there. Okay. Let's try and see what that singing is like. All the kids turning up. Some of them teleporting. Oops. Still outside, I guess. Here we go. A screenshot. Try and get a better one. That's so cool. Because you've got the little alien voices. And I think they're gaining some singing skill at the same time. That's cool. So, yeah, Ruby's just waiting for uh, Father Winch to turn up in about three hours. Bron, has he done everything? Yes, I think so. Um, so, yeah, he's eating. Oh, no, he's cleaning up. Good chap. Oh, look. I think we can have a moment between Halika and Finn. Yes, we do. How cute is that? So, can she give, like, presents? Add present. Let's see if we can make this, the stack a bit more interesting. Didn't really do much. Can you add another present here? No. Let's open some presents. How do you open the presents? Add present. <laughs> I keep wanting to add more. I know I want to open them, but here we go. Look, it appeared. Okay, let's open them now. Open presents with. Let's do the little kids. I don't know if this is gonna work. Take all the little kids off the off the kind of extended clan. So we've got Sawyer, Scylla, and George. Because you know it is kind of more of a Christmassy thing. This whole present thing. Look, he's blushing. How so cute. I think he's gonna become a teen sometime soon. And there's his little sister, Scylla, coming along. I think... Oh no. They've not done the whole opening present thing. Oh look! Look! He's giving him one! Oh that's so cute! I didn't know they could autonomously give presents. Let's try and do this present thing again. But let's try it just with the toddlers since they're right there. Is it gonna work? Come on, Ruby. She's getting stuck on the bar or something, I don't know. Now, Scylla's disappeared. That's not good. Okay, so she is at least opening. And no, then Sawyer's opening one too. <laughs> but no Scylla. Scylla didn't open one. Ah, oh, she might be coming to open one now, maybe. I know George is opening another one. 
This is so cute. What are they doing outside? Who went outside? I don't know. Maybe it was Belle. Belle the dog. Belle is getting on. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but um, Belle's uh, daughter, Ariel, is here. She needs to get him out, her outside because I think she needs to go uh, to the loo. So it looks like Brian was working out, uh, but he's going to take her outside. But the other puppy, Drew, is actually living with Lyle now. So we're going to see Drew at some point, but it's just Ariel uh, now with Belle. And Belle, I think, is an elder dog now. Um, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, other things we need to do in this series, as well as just seeing the family and just following uh, Ruby and Brun every now and then as she needs to finish her further collection. <laughs> and maybe there's some other collections that have come along. Is there a collection that came along and get famous? Does anyone know? I would like, like to know. So I hope everyone's eaten sufficient. So Ruby could probably eat some ham dinner and since there is one just sitting there Let's do that one. Right, what happened with Brun? He is carrying her. Let's put her down here. Oh, I think he must have already put her down. That's so annoying. Don't put her down yet. Is it going to work? Choices. Put Ariel down here. Good. Okay. Seems like there's lots of these um, mounds for snow pals or whatever they're called around the place. I think they did build a snow pal at some point over here, but I can't see it now. So, right. She got a reward, even though I don't think it was like a, uh, a reward, you know, a, a goal event. She did throw a party, is it not? added to her collection of parties. That's not good. And is the party over now? If so, that's really early. Ah, oh, look, people are leaving, so I think the people are leaving, yeah, they are. Oh, wow. Look at the way that Wendy is walking. She's got the um, celebrity walk. Actually, it's quite nice, but I'm just not used to seeing it on her. Hey, everyone's going. Bye bye. Did the toddlers all go as well? Because they have to walk out in the snow. No, they're still here. So some people are still here. Which is cool. Because, uh, you know, uh, Great Father Winter, or whatever his name is, is going to come in a few minutes. So I don't think she ate that food because she's not any less hungry. She doesn't have it in an inventory, so let's grab a new one. Someone must have uh, owned it and grabbed it. How's Ariel? She's pooped. That's great. <laughs> um, let's stick her poop in <laughs> the inventory. <laughs> because, uh, you know, Ruby likes her garden, which is a bit cold at the moment uh, because of winter and all that. So yeah, this is also my first episode recorded in the UK, and the first video I've recorded in the UK. I have moved to the UK, don't know if you know, but yeah, I mentioned it on Twitter, and uh, yeah, it's, it was a big move, very stressful, and I'll talk about it in another video, I'm going to do a little speed build, but uh, I haven't got to that yet. Looks like all the presents were opened, which is good. I really wish they would change into their uh, normal gear when they're back inside, but um, yeah, I have to do it manually, which is a little bit annoying. Actually, he should be in party gear, which is what that. I like his party gear, actually. But yeah, he's looking really young, but yeah, how old is he in fact? He's about 13 days away from being an elder, and. Uh... Ah, look! <laughs> 
It's a Father Winter and his name is Clement Frost. Interesting. Okay, so let's, um, what does she have to do with him? Catch him and ask him for a present. Okay, so <laughs> let's cheerful introduct yourself. Introduct. Introduce. <laughs> Don't run away! Come back! Come back! Stop eating. Ho ho ho! <laughs> The cool thing about uh, leaving this till, uh, you know, now to finally record is that we're actually getting close to real world uh, Christmas or winter fest, whatever you want to call it. Oh look, he's adding extra presents. What a nice chap. Look, finish that meal and go and see him. And you can also introduce yourself as well, because it would be good for him to satisfy his tradition. Do you know, I know so little about seasons. Do they get something if they satisfy the tradition? <laughs> I imagine they're just going to get like a moodlet. But maybe I'm wrong. Where's she going? She's going outside, isn't she? I, I bet because that's where he was when she greeted him. Or introduced himself, herself to him. Hey, my name is Ruby. He's good, he's cheerful, and he's childish. Okay, that sounds about right. He's gonna ask him for a Christmas tree. A Christmas tree? He's gonna ask him for a Christmas present. What are we talking about? I'm getting confused. Ask for present. There we go. And you can ask him for a present as well. Hang on. Grant Tebo! Ask her present. Oh, she got one. What did she get? She got nothing. <laughs> I don't think they get anything, do they? Hang on, what does that say? Wow! Father Winter got Ruby a brand spanking new gift. It's so big, it had to go in the household inventory. What they got? The motion monitor gaming mat? Okay. Uh, the gift can be found either in the Sims inventory or the household inventory. Okay, so Must be a space for that up here somewhere, especially now with the kids moved out. Let's um, Move that little bed Let's Just drop it over here somewhere. I don't know Let's just delete. Okay, it's deleted and in the household inventory okay so here we have this gaming mat thanks uh great father winter whatever his name is father winter not great father winter i think i'm thinking of world of warcraft because there is uh, like a, a santa like person in that i think his name is great father winter I prefer Great Father Winter than Father Winter. So what did Brun get? He got a Crisponics Ultra Great with Deluxe Crisper. What is that? Let's have a look. Okay, so it's actually uh, a fridge, <laughs> which is really weird. Um, but we'll just sell it, actually, shall we? gone. But that's pretty cool. So yeah, they satisfied all the traditions needed for the Winterfest holiday. And they got to see their family. Um, yeah, so I think we're done. It's lovely to see everyone again, and of course, most people have already gone. But uh, yeah, welcome to the golden years. <laughs> an angel and an alien golden years. Yeah. So we'll see this series every now and then, just to catch up with them. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing another Let's Play from me. And I hope everything's well with you. Let me know in the comments. Take care. And goodbye.